I'm 13 Action News meteorologist Danny Beckstrom, and today we're talking about precipitation types. We all know rain and snow, but there's a long list of different types of precipitation, from drizzle and mist to sleet and hail, even freezing rain. They all form after water vapor condenses in a cloud, but the temperature of the air in the atmosphere as it falls to the earth dictates which type of precipitation it becomes. Today we're going to focus on the four most common types of precipitation. First, one that we're all pretty familiar with, right? Rain. Rain happens when the water vapor in a cloud condenses and gets so heavy that it falls from the sky and travels through air that is warmer than freezing, allowing the droplet to remain liquid before hitting the ground. But what happens when the air below is colder than 32 degrees Fahrenheit? Well, snow. And in snow's case, the water vapor is so cold that it never goes through the liquid state, rather from vapor directly to an ice crystal that never melts before reaching the ground and accumulating. But sometimes the layers of air between the cloud and the ground are different temperatures, right? And in that case, we usually see sleet or grapple. It's what happens if water vapor condenses into an ice crystal, in the cloud at least, but melts melts and refreezes a few times before actually reaching the ground. Hail kind of similar. It goes through rounds of freezing, but it needs the updraft of a thunderstorm cloud to help it out. The tops of strong thunderstorms are usually very cold because they're very high in the atmosphere. So the water droplet in the cloud turns to ice. They get really heavy, heavy enough to fall, but the strong updraft in the thunderstorm picks them back up and sends it around again. When a thunderstorm is strong enough, a hailstone can get as large as a softball or a grapefruit before falling to the ground. But here in Las Vegas, we usually only see hailstones smaller than about a dime. Speaking of what we see here in Las Vegas, we live in one of the driest climates in the entire country and only accumulate just over four inches of rainfall per year. In terms of snow, sometimes we don't even see snow on the valley floor all year. Our yearly average is usually less than a half of an inch. Hail happens on occasion, most commonly during our monsoon season, which helps supply the moisture necessary to develop thunderstorms. Here's a great visual to describe what we just learned. Air temperature is key in determining precipitation type and what we see fall from the cloud to the ground. I hope this helps you become weather wise.